The Caspian Sea is a landlocked body of water between Europe and Asia. Countries in this region all have long histories of internal and external volatility. Each is home to displaced persons who originated from the other's territory. Situated on the Persian Gulf and Strait of Hormuz, Ariana faces the Caspian and is part of the mountainous region called South Caucasus. Rugged terrain and deserts make travel for most vehicles difficult, particularly during the heavy spring rains, a yearly occurrence in this country of 77 million people. The vast majority of the country's citizens are Shia Muslim. A body called the Guardian Leadership Council ensures the country operates under Sharia law. With a rich culture and heritage, Ariana's social issues stem not from its people, but from its leaders, whose actions are considered corrupt and repressive. Protests over government corruption are common, particularly in the larger centers such as Tehran, the capital. People are increasingly frustrated with the repressive policies emanating from the centers of political power. Supreme Leader Ayatollah Mahud Mekene and the country's military. In truth, it is the Ariana clergy that decides who will run for public office. Elections themselves are a formality, with events predetermined by religious leaders. Still, the government is frequently targeted by insurgent groups, the largest and most high-profile being God's Helpers Brigade, that operate with sporadic violence and have attacked key leaders. Long-simmering tensions continue between ethnic and religious groups, but outsiders should not mistake the country's internal frustration for a movement to support the West. As a whole, the country remains suspicious of Western views and wary of Western agendas. Even members of the public treat foreign involvement with their affairs as a holdover from colonization, violently resisting any attempts by outsiders to meddle. But by far the greatest tensions and longest running are between Ariana and Atropia, its closest neighbor in the South Caucasus. Ariana wants complete jurisdiction over the rich oil reserves in the Caspian Sea, reserves that historically are controlled by Atropia. Ariana does operate 40 oil production fields, the majority of which are onshore in the Dastet region near the Iraqi border. The country exports about 2.4 million barrels a day, primarily to Asian markets, making it the world's fourth largest exporter. On paper, the numbers look impressive, but Ariana's economy is a series of contrasts. Unemployment continues to decrease, while sanctions by the international community create obstacles to foreign investment, especially with East Asian countries. Most global sanctions, including those issued by the U.S. Treasury, are as a result of Ariana's ongoing nuclear weapons program. In addition, the United States wants to deter Ariana from continuing to provide financial support to Middle East terrorists. The country boasts a formidable military, one that consists of a large modern ground force with smaller agile air and sea capabilities. A conventional military with close to 800,000 troops, Ariana can also field insurgent or covert forces. Ground troops tend to deploy along the country's external borders, particularly those with Iraq and Atropia, which are seen as the most likely land avenues for Western forces to approach. The military protects key infrastructure. It's also seen as a major contributor to Ariana's corruption muscling its way into lucrative business deals to either take over completely or act as a silent partner. The country operates in a highly regulated information environment, with the Ariana government maintaining control of all media outlets. But despite attempts to limit access to the internet, an increasing number of citizens search Western websites for their news, thereby circumventing the government's information embargo.